Alright, this is a weekly reading for Pisces. Um, so I have nine songs on this playlist. I'm going to pick one that sticks out to me and then the rest will be listed in the description below. So you can look at them, listen to them, make playlists, whatever you want to do with them. Um, so, let's see... George Stout, All My Exes Live in Texas. It's a fun song. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that one stuck out to me, but it's funny. Um, the rest of them will be listed um, down below, like I said. It's a good list, but it's kind of like, it's it's along the same lines. So, it, it, it's pretty funny, I would say. So, you know. Uh, so enjoy that playlist. <laughs> Alright, um, the first card, as always, is how you feel right now, which is the Emperor in Reverse. So it's an Aries energy, um, a, a fatherly society, power struggles, demeaning males, um, or domineering males, I should say. Um, needing to turn to a male figure um, for assistance can't help yourself. So it's, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a damsel in distress week, I guess, or a bit of a, um, can't believe what's happening kind of thing. Um, uh, could be a lot of things going on. So, let's see. Then we have hmm, the next card, which is the week's theme. Um, so, Page of Swords in reverse. I think it's Gemini energy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, gossips with ill intent, spies on people, is two-faced, spends too much time watching and judging everyone else. So, this could be... This could be you or somebody else. It's a Gemini energy. Um, so an air energy. It could be Aquarius. could be Libra. could be, you know, Gemini, like I said before. But it's one of those that's kind of either spying on you, spying on other people. They kind of... They, they could have a bit of a crush on you. They're trying to prove how good they are compared to another uh, potential... Um, you know, potential mate, potential boyfriend, girlfriend type deal. So they're trying to, like, build themselves up as a better person than the other ones are. So it, it's it's a bit of a problem. Um, so you might have to tell that person just to chill out or you won't pick them. You know, that's kind of how I do it. <laughs> um, let's see. We have the challenge of the week. The challenge of the week is going to be the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles it could be a Leo or a Virgo. So, very interesting. Um, can be dogmatic, only does what's expected of them. Materialistic is overly focused on finances. So this could be um, somebody who's focused on results, on... Um, what you think, what other people think, but they're mostly about the bottom line. So, mostly about financing and finances and stuff like that. So, um, a little bit of all that. This could also be a potential of interest, too. That's kind of playing hardball, but, you know, some people play hardball for a good reason. Anyway, so we have... Lesson to remember this week, which is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is having your suspicions justified, not being easily fooled, feeling prepared, um, waiting until the time is right. Very Sagittarius moon. So it's um, two parts coming together in order to 
kind of show where your emotions are because Sagittarius is the temperance, which is two things being mixed together. Also, emotion is the moon. So, kind of have to like find out how your hunches are and how your feelings are. And if the two are the same, then you know you kind of have everything justified. Um, so it's a bit of both. So yeah. there just could be a lot of stuff going on, and the proof is gonna come at you one way or the other. So anyway, we have the lesson that you will learn this week, which is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, if I remember correctly, is Virgo Sun. So it's somebody who has a Virgo Sun or a Taurus Sun or a Capricorn Sun, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember all my signs um, without really writing them down too much. So, you know, my, my mind's not the best. Um, so you have to excuse me. Anyway... So, Five of Pentacles is mastery of subject, being an expert, making money from your passion, um, money from teaching authority in your niche. So, you could be teaching people, you could be advising people, um, you, you could be like me and just know what's going to happen next. <laughs> But sometimes I do have moments where my tarot cards talk to me and I have to kind of see what's up. Um, but yeah, if something changes, usually um, it's a big item. It's not like small, you know, events. So something to think about in love life and personal life and career. A lot could change within 24 hours, you know. That's kind of what, what's cool about everyone. Anyway, we have the gift of the week, which is the Queen of Cups in reverse. So stupidity, naivety, um, obsessive, someone who overlooks the obvious for the sake of love. So it's Gemini, um, Cancer, um, energies. <laughs> this could be coming at you, so just be aware. Um... It could be a bit of a competition also. But it could be either love-related, job-related, personal relation, um, something to that effect. But it could be a lot of things coming at you at once. But I would kind of, you know, don't be too quick to judge and don't be too quick to act. That's all I can say. Anyway, thank you Pisces. I know because I am a Pisces Aries myself. So a lot of things can happen this week. Just use your best judgment. Um, look at everything uh, with a critical eye, I would say. Um, but also, uh, you kind of have to sort out what's going to be a little bit flimsy in your life and what's going to be more secure. The secure stuff stays... The flimsy stuff, you can take it or leave it. That's entirely up to you. Um, the flutsum, jetsum, let the pieces fall where they may. Anyway, everything should be fine. <laughs> but I do feel like since 2020 was a shit show, 2021 might be a shit show too. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of looking at everything with a, you know, a little bit of a magnifying glass as I see fit. Anyway. Thank you, Pisces, for watching. If you like this, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below, and I will read those. I read everything. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, let's see. The next reading should be something fun. Um, I, I totally forgot what my entire list said, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, Pisces, I will see you in the new year, or I will see you sooner than that. I don't know. But um, it depends on what's going on at my job. It's kind of a lot of craziness. Um, yeah, I work with bank accounts, and sometimes I have to do um, some security um, stuff. So, 
it's either or. Um, it's mostly claims, I would say. But, um, yeah, I try to help people out so that they can get on. So I'll see how that works out. If not, I will see you in the new year, which should be a lot of fun. So, anyway, thank you. Bye now.